I have so many questions about charts and no one to help me. If only there was a place I could go to learn which doesn't cost a fortune. There is such a place. It's my Patreon. It's £7.50 a month and you get two live streams a week. Ask me anything you like about any chart that you want. What about trading platforms? Well, in the video description, I've got a link for all the best ones and you can get up to 20% off all your trading fees for life. Thanks, CryptoClick. You demand, bro. Hello everybody, welcome back. So we're going to have a look at Chainlink. Um, not because it's anything particularly amazing on its own, although it does have um, <clears throat> a relatively decent setup. We were looking at a handful of these sort of situations uh, occurring last night on the Patreon live stream. There was, there was quite a few, um, a, a few setups like this and some already playing out. Um, and because they were sort of like medium to top cap altcoins, it makes me think that uh, if we all start to generate these sort of signals and then start to to, um, to to move up as a result of these signals, which wouldn't surprise me at all, then the continuation for altcoins is likely. The only the, the thing the analogy I like to use is though, it's like a train dodge, right? So this is uh, this is uh, the Bitcoin dominance chart. The closer we get to 40% dominance, the more likely it is you're going to get hit by a speeding train. Uh, we can stay on the train tracks and look like a hero, basically holding these altcoin positions until the bitter the bitter moment where we have to get out. Well, we don't have to get out, but like I say, a, a train dodge, you know, is uh, is a good analogy because every time we hit this 40% dominance zone, we uh, whoa, we we get wrecked or altcoins get wrecked. But but, yeah, the train dodge is still going to be pretty cool if you can make it down to those levels. And with these sort of setups, like uh, like I'll show you with, um, with Chainlink, there is a good 10, 15, 20% on their Bitcoin pairs to be had, and maybe continuation after that as well. But uh, for the moment, we've got a signal, we've got a setup, and uh, it's not the only coin out there. Like I say, we... We, we, should, we actually, it's not just me, but the Patreon members, they're all out there using the same setups and criteria to find um, bullish charts themselves. They just bring them, bring them to the table, really, and they're doing very well. Uh, the learning curve has, has, has kicked in, and, and now we're like a powerhouse of, uh, of, of chart watchers. So what we see here is a classic continuation trend signal that's only just begun uh, with your itchy cloud so uh, conversion baseline cross above the cloud cheeky span above the price and obviously the uh, the price action above the cloud and um, we're pushing a resistance level as well the resistance being the 200 exponential on the daily so a very very strong area of resistance so with this kind of setup we would expect this to be broken really because we've only just got this signal uh, what three days ago confirmed two days ago uh, and the momentum isn't dwindling no bearish divergence uh, no well a little bit uh, <laughs> a little bit of bearish divergence on the money flow index uh, and consistent um, movement above the zero point and divergence on the MACD you take this to other time frames like the 12 hourly you know we're, we're moving up again for some uh, continuation golden cross as well on the 12 hourly nice to see obviously the four hours is going to be bullish for a little while uh, classic golden cross retest of the golden cross and movement up so the second wind of the golden cross is usually the better part of that so the the the, the cross the retest the follow-through so chain links looking really really good on its bitcoin pair so if you take this over to uh, the tether pair it's not all that bad either to be honest with you they all look a lot weaker which is why i think you know uh, i suppose the secret is in the sats as we like to say on the channel you know sometimes you can chart a coin on its bitcoin pair and that's where the that's where the clues are you know that's where the that's where the signals are and that's why sometimes things just move and people don't recognize why it's doing it because the tether pair has basically been sideways or maybe even down but uh, but the uh, the Bitcoin pair says no, we're bullish. Let's go for it, and uh, and they start to move. So we've got 37 million and a 24 hour trading volume for for the Bitcoin for the um, Tether pair. 187 uh, uh, bitcoins in a 24 hour period for its Bitcoin pair. So that's decent volume. It's pretty good. Uh, so if we think about what this is likely to do, breaking a resistance of significance like this suggesting that that's what it can do should power us all the way up to this area which is about 16 percent away from where we are at right now bringing us to a major level huge major level of resistance you can see how significant this has been over such a long period of time and reclaiming something like this could end up bringing us to a movement on the chart like this now this is highly speculative but if anyone knows what they're looking at here 
They're looking at a bear market, right? This is a bear market. Remember 2019, no, 2018 into 19. So this is your bubble pop over here. And then this is the majority of your bear market. And lo and behold, before the bear market is ended, we've already created a new all time high. 2019 starts. And this is where the bull market actually begun for the whole market around here. And that, that was basically marking the end for uh, for Chainlink's little run. But from here to here is not a joke, right? We'll just measure it from here to here. Uh, you would have outperformed Bitcoin from the low to the high throughout the bear market. So halfway through a bear market um, by 600%. Chainlink can do some magical stuff, or has done in the past. Like it's it's been relatively uncool because you know the uh, the new retailers like to flock to pure shit coins, and uh, this has been deemed as I suppose I don't know like a boomer's token or something ridiculous like that. I don't, <laughs> don't trade Chainlink. It's 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 not cool. But uh, it's not about what's cool and what's not. It's what's uh, what's predictable, what's strong, what has the signals, what's got the history to allow for those signals to mature appropriately. And Chainlink has all of those. So, uh, yeah, I'm putting it out there here that uh, Chainlink actually has a decent signal for a continuation of a trend. If we can break 4,000 sats, then uh, we will likely go into an uptrend of its own. We will build a base above here and go into an uptrend of its own. I'm very much all for Chainlink, and it was one of the two tokens that I bought on the capitulation dump back down here. So when the whole market dumped, we're going down to significant lows, I bought a huge bag of uh, Chainlink and Algorand. Not because I think that they're going to make me a hundred X or something like that is that I felt like the consistency that is going to be generated from those over the next few years um, will be appropriate to be buying at these rough levels. So that was roughly about a chain link of around about $6 and a, and a, uh, and an Algorand of about 30 cents or something like that. Again, you know, fortune favors the brave. Isn't that right, Matt? So, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to put it to you that this is one of several of the top cap coins with this kind of signal and setup. And if that's the case, that could be all we need to uh, to carry on these alts for a little further. Like I say, first target would be about 10 to 15 percent versus their Bitcoin pairs, and then after then we will have to monitor the situation to see how they can go after that. Because again, like like I said, the train dodge is real. 40 percent uh, dominance train dodge is real. So it might be worth just protecting yourself as we do approach 40% dominance uh, with an eye to get back in after what could be a significant dump or just a continuation. Risk to reward, my friends. It's not all about buying low and staying in for the rest of your life. Now, um, you, uh, you, you know, if you want to trade, you have to be prepared to trade and protecting yourself against uh, some pr pretty significant downside or at least dumpy territory is trading yeah you want to live to fight another day but this is a decent setup and there was like i say a handful of them that we saw on the patreon and they were all top caps which power in numbers would suggest altcoins has got further to run even if it were just another 15 percent but with these these setups here are trend signals so you would expect a little more than just 15 percent uh, and there's no guarantee that you get more than 15%. You get an entry point and an exit point with these sort of signals. But uh, but yeah, it, it looks quite good and I would expect continuation. But the first target would only be 4,000 sats. We'll see where we go from there. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.